guys, and welcome to another Minecraft GA Stadium's predictions video. Once again, football and hurling in this video. We, and we've got the beginning of the championship in both, as well as the final of the leagues in the hurling. So let's jump. Up first in the football, <clears throat> we have the first game in the Ulster Championship. And it is Armagh versus Antrim. Um, I'd be, and they're just, they're going to be stronger. They're, Probably one of the favourites to win the Ulster Championship this year. So I'm going to go with Armand on this one. <clears throat> and I'm going to say by six points. I think they should get a, a, a big win. So Armand to win by six points. Up next we have the Connacht Championship. And we have new favourites in this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, new York they're probably the weakest team in the football. Um, now they could, they could surprise us. They could surprise us. Um, but because I I had Leitrim down to go back up in the league, but they didn't. Um, so who knows? <coughs> but I, I'm favouring Leitrim. I imagine it'll be a decent sized win. I'm going to say by six points. I just I think. They'll just be too strong for New York, so Leitrim to win by six points. And up next, sticking with the Connacht Championship, our final game on Saturday is London versus Sligo. Um, should be a bit closer than the other ones. Both of them were in Division Four in the league, um, but Sligo got pr promoted. London finished bottom of the group, so. Um, it's definitely in Sligo's favour. <coughs> so I'm going to stick with Sligo. I'm going to say by... Four points. They sh London should put up a, a good enough fight. But Sligo will definitely get him in the end. So Sligo to win by four points. Up next we have our first game on Sunday. In the Connacht Championship we have Mayo versus Ross Common. Should be a good one. Um... Mayo won the league. Uh, Roscommon should put up a decent fight. <coughs> they were they were pretty close in the league. They, they started off well in it, um, so sh should be an interesting one. But I think Mayo are probably favourites to win Connacht Championship. So I'm going to stick with Mayo. I'm going to say by three points. I think Roscommon should <coughs> keep the gap in the score low, but Mayo win it in the end. So Mayo to win by three points. Up next, we have the Munster Championship, and it is Clare versus Cork. Um, Clare got relegated. Uh, Cork stayed mid-table, so could be a close one, but I'd be favouring Cork. Um, maybe not by too much. Um, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, last year, <clears throat> uh, Clare and Limerick went to penalties. So Claire definitely looking to put up a fight. Well, I think Cork should get him in the end. I'm going to say by five points. Should be a decent sized victory. So Cork to win by five points. Up next we have our second game in the Munster Championship. And it is Tipperary versus Waterford. Could be an interesting one. Um, I think Tipperary got relegated. If I'm, tr I'm trying to remember, <laughs> I think they did, and Waterford managed to get a win over London, so their morale is definitely going to be up. Could put up a good fight against Tip, but I'd probably be favouring Tip still. Um, but I think I think I'll give Waterford a, a chance, and I'll say the, the win will only be by two points. Because I think Waterford will be looking to hopefully improve themselves over the course of the championship. So, tip to win by two points. Up next, we have the Leinster Championship, and it is Wicklow versus Carlow. Um, could be a close one, but I'd be favouring Wicklow. They were finalists in the league. Sligo won it, didn't they? I think Sligo won it. Um, so, 
it should definitely go their way. Carlo were kind of mid table, bottom half of the table. Um, so I'm going to be favouring Wicklow on this. I'm going to say by four points. I think Wicklow should do pretty decent. So Wicklow to win by four points. Up next in the Leinster Championship, we have Longford versus Offaly. <coughs> um, could be a close enough one. Um, I think I'd be favouring Offaly a bit though. They'd probably be a bit stronger than Longford. So, I think I'm going to go with Offaly. Should be a close game though. Um, I'm thinking between one and three points. I'm going to say by three points. I think Longford should put up a decent fight. Uh, but Offaly will take the win. So Offaly to win by three points. And our final football game of the weekend in the Leinster Championship is Leash versus Wexford. Um, <clears throat> should be an interesting one. If I remember correctly, Leash beat Wexford in the league, um, but it was very close. I think Wexford led for most of the match, and then Leash just managed to take the victory. So this one could go either way. Um, Wexford could surprise Leash. Leash could take the win. Um, I think Wexford have definitely improved in the last two, three years. So. I think I'm going to go with Wexford, but it'd probably be Leash, wouldn't it? I think I'm going to go with Leash, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Leash, but I'm going to keep the score low. Um, I'm going to say by two points. I, I want to believe Wexford can put up a good fight, but I think Leash will just get them in the end. So Leash to win by two points. So those are the football predictions for the weekend. Now let's jump into the hurling. So up first we have the Joe McDonough Cup. And we have Down versus Kerry. Um, should be an interesting enough one. I'd be expecting Kerry to win this. Down were kind of struggling in the league. Um, and I, th I think it'll be... A a toss between Kerry, Kildare, Offaly and Leash to win it. Um, so I'm going to favour Kerry in this one and I'm going to say by f four points. They should get a decent sized win so Kerry to win by four points. Up next in the Joe McDonough Cup we have Carlo versus Kildare. Um, as I said for the last match Kildare are one of the teams I expect to go for it. Um, they should beat Carlo. They finished top of the table in the league. Um, Carlo finished mid around mid table, so I'd be expecting Kildare to win this one and win it pretty well. I'm I'm going to say by four points. I think they should be able to get a decent win over Carlo. So Kildare to win by four points. Up next in the Joel McDonough Cup, we have Offaly versus Leash. Um, this could go either way. Um, Offaly were promoted in the league, Leash were relegated, so we don't really have any way to compare which one of them it'll be. Um, but I think Offaly, they're slowly rebuilding themselves. They struggled for a while, but I think they could probably win this game. So I think I'm going to go with Offaly on this one. Um, I'm going to say by three points. I think they should be able to handle Leash. So Offaly to win by three points. And our final game of the weekend, only game on Sunday, is the league final between Kilkenny and Limerick. Could go either way. Um, both of them surprised me. I, I was really expecting it to be a Cork Tipperary final, but Kilkenny and Limerick are going for it. It's basically a re rematch from last year's All Ireland final. Um, so it could go either way, but I'd be expecting Limerick to win this. 
I don't think Kilkenny really they don't they didn't really show the same kind of level of strength as Limerick did so I'd be going with Limerick to win this and I'm gonna say by three points I think they should get a decent enough win so Limerick to win by three points So there you have it, those are my predictions for both the football and the hurling for this weekend. Be sure to also check out the results video, as well as future prediction videos. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share, and I will see you for the next one.